Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Till now we have completed two important steps in this project. Data pre-processing and building the model. In building the model we have tried two classification algorithms. Logistic regression and random forest. And on the basis of performance we have selected the logistic regression. Now in this tutorial we will tune the hyperparameters for logistic regression. And to do that we will use randomized search CV. Now go to the official documentation of randomized search CV. This one I have opened. Here you will get all the details about the randomized search CV. Let us understand an important detail. In contrast to grid search CV, not all parameters values are tried out. So this is the basic difference between grid search and randomized search CV. In the randomized search, not all parameter values are tried out. Whereas in grid search CV, all the parameter values are tried out. So this is the basic difference. And these are the parameters that we have to specify in randomized search CV. Estimator, parameter distributions, number of iterations, scoring, number of jobs and CV. Let us import from sklearn dot model selection and then import randomized search cv execute so we have successfully imported this class from this library and this module model underscore selection now go to logistic regression documentation so these are the parameters that we have to tune here we will tune only three parameters First one is the penalty, copy this one. By default penalty is L2. Define a variable parameters. Here we are defining a dictionary. Copy penalty. This is the first parameter that we are specifying. Penalty. And these are the values for the penalty. Copy and paste here. Specify in single or double quote. L1, L2, Elasticent and None. Let us check for the next parameter. C. So this is a number and by default it is 1. And it must be positive. Capital C. Let us specify the values. 0 0.25. 0 0.05. Or 0 0.5. 0 0.75. 1. 1 1.25. 1.5. 1.75. 1 and 2. So these are the values for this C. This is the constant. Let us specify the next parameter. So here we will specify solver. Copy this line. By default solver is LFFGS. Copy this. And this is the algorithm to use in the optimization problem. Paste here. solver and we have to specify as a list execute Okay, there is a typing mistake. Execute again. Check this variable parameters. Great. So here we are tuning only three parameters. First one is the penalty. And this is used to specify the norm used in the 
penalization then second parameter is the c this is the constant and it must be a positive value smaller values specify stronger regularization this is also an important point and the third parameter is solver this is the algorithm to use in the optimization problem now go to google colab add few cells now define an instance random underscore search and use this class randomize search cv here we have to specify the parameters let us check one by one first one is the estimator here we are tuning the parameters for logistic regression so we will use this class as an estimator then second parameter is this one parameter distributions these are the parameters that we want to tune so for that we have defined a variable parameters so till now we have specified estimator and parameter distributions let us specify next parameters that is n iterations by default it is 10 so we will use same next parameter is scoring let us see the options for that so these are the options that we can use for the classification problem accuracy balanced accuracy and all so we will use this one roc underscore auc you can try all other parameters as well or we can say you can try all other options and check the performance the next parameter n jobs by default it is none but we can specify minus 1 for the parallel backend it will run all the jobs in parallel it will save our time so i will specify minus 1 the next parameter let us check this one cv by default it is none that means five fold cross validation but we will use 10 cv is equal to 10 let us see another parameters so we will not use these we will use these parameters as default this one verbs or we can say verbose or like that this controls the verbosity we will specify integer 3 now execute so here we have successfully created an instance of this class and to defining this instance we have specified all the details now tune the parameters randomized search dot fit here we are training the parameters like we have done training in logistic regression and random forest specify x train and y train and execute so it will take a little bit time to execute okay it's done now check the optimized parameters let us see the attributes best estimator best score and best parameters these are the three main attributes so let us use them random search dot best estimator so these are the best estimators c is equal to 1.0 and all other let us see another let us check the best score to do that type random search dot best score so this is the best score more than 99% and now check best parameters so these are the best parameters these three c is equal to 
penalty is l1 and solver is this one lib linear so these are the three parameters that we have tuned so c is equal to 1 this is the best parameter penalty is equal to sorry solver is equal to lib linear and penalty is equal to l1 right so these are the three parameters now finalize the model so i'll add one more section here part 5 final model and we have selected logistic regression so i'll just specify this one as well now go to logistic regression so we have already imported this one but we will copy all the lines logistic regression then this instance and after that model training all in one great go to final model and just paste here now we will call our classifier only classifier because we have finalized this one first import the logistic regression then create an instance and after that train the model but here we have to specify the best parameters so copy the best estimators you can see c is equal to 1 penalty is equal to l1 this one penalty is equal to l1 and solver is equal to live linear this one so we have copied and paste it will train the model with tuned parameters now make the predictions so copy this line paste classifier dot predict great i'll just copy and paste the code here so this is the accuracy f1 score precision and recall and these are the results final logistic regression and we are appending the same in results now execute and check the results so after tuning the parameters accuracy is decreased let us check the same with cross validation we have to specify classifier and execute so classifier is not defined copy this one and paste the cross validation accuracy is decreased Previously it was 97.81 and now it is 97.37 In the parameter tuning process on the first time we may not get the best parameters So we have to try multiple times Here I will try one more time rerun all the code one more time till here type any random string here so code will stop here run time restart and run all it will take a little bit time i'll just fast forward the process great now import this class and define parameters check the parameters and here we will specify number of iterations is equal to 5 make cv is equal to 5 and execute now train again then check the parameters best estimator best score and parameters now we have different result c is equal to 1.5 penalty is equal to l1 and solver is saga so copy paste here train our final model make the predictions 
and then the results same result again now check the cross validation let us check the result for this one great so this time we have cross validation accuracy 98.24 and standard deviation is 2.16 so this accuracy is better than logistic regression before tuning cross validation accuracy this one 97.81 but this time we have accuracy as 98.24 so here we have successfully tuned the parameters here i want to add one more point these are the not best parameters we can say to get the best parameter we have to try multiple times and at the end we will get the best parameters so here i have tried only two times you can do multiple times and you will definitely get the better parameters to get the best parameters you have to try multiple times here i have tried only two times let us revise what we have done till now to tune the parameters first we have imported this class randomized search cv instead of that you can use grid search cv as well then these are the parameters that we are tuning these three parameters penalty c that is constant and solver after that we have defined an instance of this class and we have specified the required details and after the training these are the best parameters best estimator best score and best parameters and after the training we are getting best estimator best score and best parameters and this is our final logistic regression model this one here we have specified all the best parameters and these are the results in the cross validation we are getting the better accuracy than the previous one here in logistic regression 97.81 and here we are getting 98.24 So this tutorial about the hyperparameter tuning ends here. I will see you in the next tutorial. Till then, happy learning.